Hey guys, it's me David and welcome back to another 2017 LEGO Star Wars set review. Guys, I have another LEGO Star Wars Last Jedi set here with me. It's the smallest of all of them, retails for $30, and it is the Resistance Transport Pod. It's number 75176, ages 8 to 14, and it has 294 pieces. So 30 bucks, 294 pieces, almost, it's, it's a pretty good price per piece ratio there. So that's always good to, good to see. Um, we get two minifigures with this set. Uh, we get Finn and the new character Rose. Uh, these two are supposed to have some type of side mission in The Last Jedi. They're supposed to have their own little plot. Meanwhile, Rey and Luke are doing their thing. And then Poe and, uh, I assume, General Leia are up to no good on uh, to, to and the Resistant Bombers leading a fleet of a giant attack on Crate uh, or, or protecting Crate from uh, the First Order. This is all just assumptions, um, just based off the trailer. But yeah, so Rose is supposed to be uh, a big part of the movie with Finn. Um, so she is supposed to be, I, would, I guess I would consider her a main character then. I'm surprised that we didn't get Rey in, a, in one of these uh, cheaper sets uh, under $50. We only get Rey in the $150 uh, First Order Heavy Assault Walker, otherwise known as the ATM-6, that big gorilla walker. Um, I'm surprised we didn't get Rey in a set like this um, because uh, during The Force Awakens when those sets came out we had a $20 uh, Rey speeder set and Rey is, I would consider her the main character um, and then Kylo Ren would be the main protagonist or anti, <laughs> excuse me, Kylo Ren's the main antagonist, Rey is the main protagonist, uh, Finn is definitely probably another main character alongside Rey. I mean, honestly, it's it's right here. It's these guys right here. They, they're, uh, they're the main characters. So I and we we've got two sets with Poe. Um, of course, we have the set with Finn. But I'm just really surprised that we didn't we didn't get Rey in a cheaper set. Um, that is a that is a big surprise to me. Um, but yeah, this set looks interesting. Uh, it should be a pretty easy build, honestly. I'll be done with this probably in 30 minutes. We'll take the end depth, and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So without two, let's go ahead and go right in the time lapse. Let's go. <laughs> Right, guys so take an in-depth look at the resistance transport pod as always we'll go ahead and start off with the minifigures so first up is Finn um, I think the only new ver uh, new difference about him actually is not his face or his torso but he has uh, a different colored pair of legs he has kind of this Han Solo type of belt going on here um, but it's this uh, like dark space gray type of that's what I would call it like a space gray kind of color um, It's not quite black not quite gray. It's like right in between. It's almost got a little metallic look to it um, But yeah, so Finn has this very scared look. He also has this nice silver rifle turn his head around and give a much more normal happy face Finn <laughs> um, But yeah, so very cool minifigure um, the exclusive minifigure to this set right here is Rose. She's new. We don't know her part or how significant she'll be in The Force Awakens. But here is she. Um, she also has a double-sided face. She also has this new hair piece. It's actually hard plastic. It's not soft. Um, so it's not going to bend on you or anything like that. And then she has this torso design, very interesting looking. She's supposed to be a resistance pilot, I believe. Um, and then she has a pistol as well. Lastly, we have BB-8. And he has his little head, comes off like so. Um, different prints on all sides. Same BB-8 from all the other sets, not a new version. Uh, for this set, which would have been nice actually considering it's a $30 set. All right So going on the interior details of the pod itself first off I just want to turn around and show you guys this awesome awesome engine detail. I love this 
Uh, Lego did a really great job and you'll see right away they're using mini figureheads as the engines. Really fantastic choice and I love the details around it as well. This right here is actually what spins this uh, turret right here, which is very cool. I actually think this thing has a lot of uh, movement to it, which is very cool. I like how you can maneuver it and kind of spin this and kind of be flying around. It's much more fun than I would expect a set like this to be. Um, I'll tell you what wasn't fun though, is all the stickers in this set. Um, there's stickers galore, honestly. Here, 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 all over the windshield. Here, this is all stickers. That's a sticker. Lots and lots of stickers. Now, if we take off the windshield, and this also comes off as well, it'll reveal quite an interior for this little pod. Um, it's pretty amazing how like it was able to pack so many uh, pieces into this. I'll go ahead and take Rose and use her as an example um, and sit her in the uh, seat right here. I think I actually missed a piece right there. It might be in my extra pieces. Um, but yeah, so they just sit in like that. And you can put Rose back there as well if you want and put Finn up in the front. Poor BB-8, I guess this little stud right here is for him. Kind of just sits back there and chills out while uh, Rose and Finn are handling all the action going on. Um, and then you'll see here, this is kind of the gears. I don't know if you kind of see it in the light, but the gears are right here. They're just kind of moving around, uh, nothing too special. Now on this side, there's kind of this secret compartment. If I open this up, it kind of reveals this little blaster and these this weird looking orange blaster and these little orange bombs or yeah, that's what I would call them or grenades, bombs, kind of the same thing. Um, but yeah, these are just kind of hiding out on the side. You get three of them and you get two of these uh, blasters and you just cover it up with that panel like so. And that's all the features. Um, there's also one other thing is if you spin this little circle right here, you'll activate the flick missiles. So like that. And you have a nice little control panel right here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. And you have this little um, almost fighter pilot, fighter pilot uh, control uh, scheme as well. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the resistance uh, pod. That's, that's all the features to it. Definitely very um, nice looking for what it is, which is a good thing. Um, has a couple features. That's what it looks like underneath. And I think that'll be it, guys. So without two, let's go ahead. Let's go out to the uh, final thoughts. All right, guys, so we took the in-depth. We checked out this set. Um, it's a nice little $30 set. I, I think it's very well built. I'm very surprised with, uh, with how much Lego, Lego was able to pack into this, um, or the Lego designers were able to pack in this. That sounds better. Um, I really do like this engine detail in the back. I, these new tube, uh, these new like 90 degree tube pieces are fantastic. I can think of so many uses and future mocks to utilize these new pieces. It's uh, some great new pieces. The, I think these are also in the um, the resistance bomber as well. I do like uh, the little features that are on this. The interior uh, is great. Um, it's a nice little set actually. I, I'm surprised buy it honestly because it doesn't really look that interesting uh but it's better and and of course i love how they use the uh the minifig heads as the uh the engine um engines yeah um so that's really awesome honestly i do wonder they call this uh the if they call it a transport pod so does that mean this is an escape pod i i would assume it is um it'd be interesting if it's its own little vehicle um yeah, I mean, I'm surprised how much, uh, how many features they kind of packed into this, uh, this little thing. I also really do like that they included BB-8 in this. I think BB-8 is going to, of course, have a major role in The Force Awakens. Uh, I don't think that's too surprising, honestly. Um, I do wonder how big uh, this character Rose is going to be. 
like I said, her, uh, her and Finn uh, go off on like a little mission. I do wonder how significant that will be in the movie. Do I recommend it? Yes. Is it a necessary set to get right away? Probably not. If you can wait like, you know, uh, closer to the actual movie or after the movie comes out, you're gonna get like a $10 discount, probably get it for 20 bucks. Um, I don't think it's really like that necessary unless you really want all the new figures. Um, but it is a nice little set. You're, you're not gonna be disappointed with this, but you're not gonna be like blown away at the same time. Well, you might be blown away by uh, how many pieces this actually has in it. Um, it doesn't look like it would have 300 pieces, but it does. Um, maybe that'll blow you away. But the actual set won't really blow you away. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's that's my final thoughts. You can, I would, I do recommend that you get it at some point, maybe when it's $10 cheaper. $30 isn't a terrible price to pay for this, so if you want it now, you're not gonna be ripped off or anything like that. Um, but yeah, that's my that's my final thoughts. Anyhow, guys, uh, if you want to check out all the other LEGO Star Wars The Last Jedi sets, I've reviewed all of them, you can check it out on my channel below. Just hit my Solid Brick Studios name down there. And if you want to see any other LEGO or Star Wars related videos, hit that subscribe button down below, guys. Trust me, I have amazing content coming out over the next couple months with The Last Jedi getting closer and closer. Alright, guys, that's going to be it. I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.